an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let the nuts hang. Hey, what it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy, PJ. Today, we are on the road. I'm on my way to meet up with my cousin, man, and I figured I'd just drop y'all some juice because I've been out and about today. So you're going to get a few clips of what I've been doing today. It's just rolling around, handling business. You under dig? So I'm a, I got to go get re up. you know what I'm saying? Give me a little something to smoke and chill, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what we do. In Oklahoma, everything is legal. So, you know, you got to go, go do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? Relax. Everybody needs to relax. So, speaking of relaxing, a lot of you motherfuckers can't relax because y'all are so invested in crypto and y'all are getting ripped off by everyone. Uh, let's see. So, um, last year in 2021, $14 billion worth of current uh, cryptocurrency has been stolen by scammers through either people or third-party websites or something so i understand when we get onto people like mr organic for and i'm gonna quit you i ain't gonna quit using his name i'm gonna be honest because that man is on fire right now but i see why we are reaching out to these people these uh influencers about them spreading misinformation in regards to cryptocurrency we don't know who I don't know personally who is spreading misinformation. All I do know is uh, every day uh, Robinhood sends me a newsletter about cryptocurrency. Coinbase sends me newsletters about cryptocurrency. So I look into those and I look through those for information that could lead me to a better uh, buy into crypto. I don't necessarily go to Mr. Organic or to other financial gurus. Now you can, you can take advice from someone, but I, I want you to realize and understand you must do your own research because I know one thing is like, I know we all want to have that dream is like someone tells us, hey, you know, catch this right now. If you buy this right now in 10 years, you'll be a millionaire. I know we all want to do that. We all want to get into that, but uh, that's not, it's not exactly how that goes. It can happen. I'm not going to say that's not how it goes because it can happen. The thing with cryptocurrency is that, yes, millionaires are being made every day. You just have to catch the slide. And you also have to have the money to, you know, gamble. And that's the, that's the cost of learning crypto. Understand, $14 billion in cryptocurrency was stolen last year. I mean, the magnitude of understanding that $14 billion was scammed by people um, sending you DMs, by people messaging you under messages. That is why when... I start getting uh, when I start getting spam people to like my comments and stuff under like other videos and stuff. I delete my video. I delete my comment because I do not want to be targeted by scammers. When I get requests from uh, when I get requests from Instagram, I get them all the time. And every I don't know if somebody actually wants to do business or they want to just scam you, but. To be on the safe side, I just ignore it. You know what I'm saying? I just ignore it. Now, I could be ignoring my financial freedom, but it's just the price of not getting scammed. That's just it. Like, we can't, like, okay, so here's another thing. I uh, follow a guy named JT Hustles. Now, uh, he does give a lot of information, but I, again, he, does, he doesn't give any service level information no service level he just goes through and tells you about other people who have businesses that generate residual income or income while you're sleeping that's what type of uh youtube channel he has and a lot of it is great knowledge and it's it's uh inspiring and those are those are the type of people you watch when you want to learn and you may want to get an idea and see what type of uh, a business you want to get into because the business uh, he does all different types of businesses not just one businesses a lot of them are e-commerce so meaning what all i'm saying is he uh in one of his posts he tells you 
he lost eighty thousand dollars investing in himself and not because he was he refused to get scammed he did not want to get scammed so that kept him from learning the information that he needed to prosper in his own entrepreneurship so i'm, I'm saying i'd like to say this so yes you can miss on your opportunity and you can waste your money more than a scammer you can do it yourself you you can lose money yourself you don't have to have a scammer but you can also learn by using yourself you can learn from uh getting scammed i mean but the thing is you want to understand when you're getting scammed a lot of people when they're getting scammed they don't know they're getting scammed so that that kind of contradicts itself in itself but at the same time all i'm telling you is you have to do the research yourself even if it costs you a few dollars I mean, that's no one tells you that when you want to start a business, they say, hey, you can start a business with no money. And this is absolutely true. You can start a business with no money, but the cost to run the business will cost you some money. The cost to invest in a business will cost you some money. The cost to understand what that business needs to run and uh, maintain a day to day schedule that will cost you money. And as if you can get into something and make some money and make a little at a time and it builds up to eventually pay it for itself, you found a gold mine. But those don't exist every day. You know what I'm saying? They don't exist. Like you may be able to find one, but not really. Like here's here's one. Here's a job that you can make money on. It costs you no money at all. It costs you not one penny. You can make money starting this business. Picking up cans. If you want, if you want to pick up cans, you can walk around all day picking up cans and eventually make money for free. That's what that that is what these people mean when they tell you. You can start a job for free. You're going to be doing shit like that. You're going to be picking up cans all around the city, walking around. And you don't want to do that. So what you do is you get a job, okay? You have a job first. You may need to get a second job or pick up extra hours, okay? While you're doing that, you create your plan to create a business you should get your llc you kind of see what's out there and see some things you might be interested in and then you take maybe one check like you might be behind on your car payment you might be behind on your rent but you take one check that you made all that extra money in and put it towards your future you might be behind but you gonna figure out how to pay your rent. You gonna figure out how to buy, the, uh, pay your car note. You gonna figure out how to, okay? And that is how you get the money to start your business. So if you work hella hours and you get that thousand dollars after taxes, you know, hey, you might have to downgrade. You might have to go back home and stay with your mom for, you know, a, a few months. But that that one initial investment will change your life. So don't let these 14 billion, don't let your money be part of that 14 billion dollars in crypto game, okay? Everyday people, thank y'all for watching. I'm on the highway, I'll holler at you, peace.